Since 2016, Detroit has been using a surveillance system to monitor the city and track suspected criminals. It's able to identify individual citizens so well because it uses facial recognition based on over 50 million driver's license photos and mugshots. And people are angry, not just because this technology is seen as an invasion of privacy, but because the system doesn't seem to work. Multiple studies have shown that facial recognition is more likely to misidentify black people than others. This is a major problem, but even more so in a city like Detroit, which has the highest percentage of black residents than any other major U.S. city. In a police board meeting, a white woman said, If you're afraid of the cameras, either you're paranoid or you've got something to hide. But this sentiment was proven incorrect when Detroit Assistant Chief of Police James White said that he was misidentified by Facebook's AI. And when the ACLU tested Amazon's facial recognition on members of Congress, not only did it misidentify 28 of them as criminals, but a disproportionate amount of the ones misidentified were people of color. These are just more examples of how algorithmic bias will continue to affect people of color in the future. When the system specifically frames you as a criminal, how are you supposed to survive? Plus, facial recognition has a nasty history of physiognomy, the practice of determining one's character based on nothing but their facial features. If you can be arrested just because an AI said that you looked like a criminal, then this is just the next evolution of stop and frisk. Chief White said that facial recognition is only used as a tool for investigation and never as the sole evidence for arrest. But can we really trust that this will continue to be the policy moving forward? Oakland recently followed San Francisco and Somerville, Massachusetts in banning the use of facial recognition by police, which has a greater impact because Oakland has a much larger black population than the former two. And the city of Oakland specifically stated algorithmic bias as a key reason for the ban. We can only hope more cities follow suit, cities like Detroit or Chicago. As Detroit-based activist Tawana Petty said, if we allow racially biased technologies to succeed here, then there really isn't any hope for black residents anywhere else in the United States. But how do you feel? Are you ready to trust a technology that doesn't have your best interest in mind? My name is Riley Lockett with YR Media, and thanks for watching.